right. Hey, it's uh, John Reed, uh, hack from Western Mass. I'm joined with Patrick and Karen. How's it going? Good, Great. How are, how are you? I'm doing well. You're going to have to hold your mic up right. closer, though. Sorry about that. No, it's no problem. I just want to want to let down our, our fans. Um, so tell me the story of this weekend. Let's start with you, Karen. Why did you come? What were you hoping to accomplish? Uh, well, I'm with the Care Center in Holyoke. We're a, an alternative education program for pregnant and parenting teens. And we have a very comprehensive and somewhat complex program that frequently requires a lot of talking or text to explain to people. So we were interested in coming here this weekend to get the help of these experts in creating an infographic that would visually present the data that we have about our program so that people can easily understand what we do and how effective we are. And the weather's beautiful outside, so Patrick, why did you sacrifice <laughs> your weekend for this? What, what made you come? Well, I, I had just moved. I just graduated and moved from Amherst to Northampton, so it was nice to get out of a sweaty house and, and into yeah. an air-conditioned lab, yeah. even though we did miss the, the nice weather. Um, I'm the publisher of Pioneer Magazine, and my friend and I, Tyler, the designer of the magazine, decided that we wanted to come to this because they were looking for entrepreneurs and designers in addition to coders and hackers and more tech-savvy uh, uh, individuals. Um, so we... we listen to the different problems that were presented and the care center in Holyoke really hit us because we felt like it, our skill set matched up and that we could provide a, a good service um, for a really great cause. So what did you end up with? Did you actually finish some stuff this weekend or? Yes, Hopefully we did. in the next hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're close. Yeah, 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 it's really exciting because, cool. you know, it's for all day yesterday and even overnight people were working on it mm. and we came in this morning and just went back at it and it's what they've come up with is phenomenal so it's really exciting it will be very helpful to our cause and something that we can really use so it's great and what are you gonna what are you gonna do with it we'll put it on our website mm. we'll use it for PR purposes for fundraising um, and general communications to really get the message out about what we do mm -hmm. So what would be your advice to people who are skeptical that you can really accomplish a lot in a weekend? Like, what's the benefit of something like this versus uh, a more traditional project? Well, it really makes you push yourself and push your teammates. Mm -hmm. And while we've remained kind and, and polite to everybody, we've yeah. definitely gotten into a business-like flow where we right. are producing results. Um, and it, I, we had a, a unique project in that it required a lot of abstract thinking and big picture thinking about what kind of argument or what kind of message we want the, the center to have and who mm -hmm. it is that we're targeting. But um, certainly it's, it's, it's incredible what a bunch of minds coming together can achieve mm. over the space of just two days. I mean, it's not even the full weekend, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we still had last night off and this yeah. afternoon off. But... Yeah. Um, there's so many tremendous projects, and, and I'm proud of the work we did with the Care Center, and we're maybe an hour or two away <laughs> from giving wow. them a really great image that they can cool. use to, yeah. uh, an animated image wow. that they can use to, uh, to get their message out. And how did you have a clear sense of what your constituent, your audience would want? Is that just something that you kind of have ingrained in you based on... Um, yeah, we know. I mean, we know our numbers, and we know what makes our program successful, and we know that that's what people want to hear. We came with that information to the table. Part of the challenge um, with the Care Center was there were so many statistics. They help and educate um, teen moms in Holyoke, but they do so through a really innovative uh, approach utilizing the humanities. So these, these girls are taking art classes, and they're on a rowing team, and they're taking college credit. And this is all in a GED program. Um, there's so many different things to say about that. There are really great emotional arguments you can make. There's really great uh, anecdotal stories of success or, or I wish I had done this program. Um, but we really decided with the, the setting here with a lot of tech savvy people and a lot of people interested in facts and numbers and, and whatnot, that an infographic that is packed with statistics so that unarguable stats about what makes this program successful and pointing towards why it is that you need to support it financially. 
Was it difficult to prioritize because obviously there's a lot of different things. You just have a day and a half. Was that tough? Was that a key part of this to figure out, okay, what, yeah. <laughs> what, what's within our scope and what's we not? We certainly spent How did a, that work? a good part of yesterday talking about mm -hmm. the program because the people on the team weren't familiar with it. So explaining the program to everybody um, and then figuring out what's important and what, what do we think is important that can be portrayed in this format. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put you on the spot or anything and make any promises, but do you think some of the relationships formed here are going to continue? I hope so. It's been great. I mean, I've just been really inspired by these guys who are smart and know what they're doing and totally professional. So it's, I hope so. Well, cool. I hope you knock them down on your presentation well, in about an much. hour from now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. That's good right. luck. Thank you. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye.